We return to the snow that seeped down from the Valley of Repose. I'm gonna say this dungeon is going to be very snowy filled. We'll see more about it later. <laughs> Welcome guys back to Pikmin 2. In the last episode we came down to the Fortune Cavern after dealing with some Virgon treasures and grinding a bit more Pikmin in the last episode. So this episode oh, I'm gonna be careful. In this episode we're gonna just kinda start this Fortune Cavern. I think Fortune Cavern is one of those one of the dungeons actually I think it's like the second or third most longest dungeon is in this game. So yeah, it's, this dungeon is quite long, and the reason I'm going to have whites for this because I recall the starting floors of these actually have new enemies that are helpful, but they mute poison, so that's what I want to be careful. I just want to check which one is safe. Let me lose stay in here. Hey, check one of these. Nope, okay. Please tell me that where the pure bulbs are, because that's going to be not fun. Get past you. I just want to be very sure I don't want to run into it if I'm walking without the pigment because I don't want them to get a poison and scatter on the place. Could it be very bad? At least want to clear out the enemies. I'm not really going to use. I don't want to use the whites for the big ones. There it is. Welcome to the doodle bug. It emits poison every time he takes a step. But he drops a lot of nectar and a plus of blue potion to keep hitting him. But he gets very annoying because he. So you very quickly. I want to see if I can hit him one more time before he disappears. Yep. So it's a good place to grind for our purple potions to come back, re enter this dungeon every time. The first floor. And then exit. I think there's actually some exits they actually have for you in this dungeon, so you'll be fine in that front. Oh, shit. You got that bad idea. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have did that. Well, at least you show off the passive ability that other abilities the white women have. Intriguing. The what is the, what is the creature shows symptoms of poisoning after it's consumed the white pigmen. Perhaps the white pigmen excrete po poison substance while, while being chewed. Fascinating. Yeah. So if any enemies beat these white pigmen, they actually have a side. Oh my gosh! Ability. If they get eaten, they get poisoned and do a lot of damage to pigmen to enemies that are being eaten by them. Of course, it does the same thing for like people that. Wait, what are you doing? What? Wait, who'd attack it? I am guess I'm not getting that doodle bug. Well, technically, I guess I could just. There you go. Cheating! Um, doodle bug's still around. You are still around. Oh, god dang it. Never mind. Well, rip that then. I think there's actually more of a chance to see him again in this dungeon. I think he's the key he appears the most in this dungeon. Or I think he's the only dungeon that appears. I don't recall him appearing anywhere else. Well, like, he's gone now. I can actually explore freely. I think it's just only three of them in this floor. I think it's like two or one more in the next floor. Not the next floor after. I think it's just the floor before. Just want to get past this guy. And get them next to them before I actually go fight that thing. There will be flowers before we continue on. Good thing they gave me this as the start of the dungeon, because god, I, god, I need it. There we go, now I feel much better about stuff. There's a good reason why I started the Fortune Cavern, not only because it was the closest, though, the farthest behind. Of course not. I'm not gonna deal with this guy. Go wake up. There you go. Nice and clean. Okay, now where is the treasure in this area? I'm gonna use the whites to go look around because it might most likely be buried. The gear is going up. Where is it? Here it is. Feels like it had to be buried because I didn't see it anywhere else. Let me see, going up anywhere else. This is... Yep, it's buried here also. God, most of these dresses are gonna be buried. Goodness. Fine, right, I'll get some of them to be dig a little one over here. Okay, they'll get digging with that. D digging with it. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Okay, they got that up. I gotta help with this, because I'm pretty sure that's not this is not gonna go down go up quickly. Up digging it up. 
And most of the and plus also, as you can tell, some of these items actually be Christmas items. So the Frontier Cam is gonna have Christmas based items in it. Like you can tell they could see the little ball over there for the turn on Christmas trees. Essence of rage. I can see that being rage. Oh, I have all of them with me. <laughs> where, where are the Pikmin going? <laughs> yeah, I can see that's what happens when you actually switch around Pip Captain. Sometimes they just run around doing Pikmin just kind of weird do stuff and disband randomly. So that's why you kind of don't want to do the switching between captures when they're already on your team. I'll just leave us when we get a ball. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep. You'll see more proof of that later on. Essence of for essential furnishing. That's it. Yes, it is. Um, I should turn down the volume. I hope it wasn't been echoing. I just noticed that I can hear the TV, but that's like pretty bad because I don't want it to echo in my mic. I want to hear the sound so I don't go crazy. At least hear something. It doesn't bother me at all. Music. It just feels weird. But I usually have the music on when I'm actually—I mean, sounds on when I'm actually playing these games. I just don't want to echo the mic. That's why I always do—I put it on low. I kind of did the whole entire episode with that too, so I hopefully it didn't really get annoying for you guys if we did echo. I'm very sorry if we did. Uh, oh, that guy's back. Um, same strategy. Just get all of them and just make him deal with them. <laughs> It can kill itself. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. I'll leave the other one first because there actually has less room in here. Come on. See, he get instant kill. That's what I was talking about. For some reason, it doesn't instant kill him sometimes. But I don't get. Oh, let's see how he gets hit by behind. That's what actually does more damage. I don't know. Come on, Brock. Bum rush. See, I don't get it. It's like it does random damage or something. I don't understand. Like it kills them, but sometimes it doesn't kill them. I don't get it at all. Let's do a double kill while we're at it too. <laughs> Alright, now I can actually deal some damage with stuff. Okay, time to clear out. Time to say goodnight. Good night. Um, where was it? Was it just the treasure? Oh, they're both in that room, okay. I think I recall having seen two in here too. No, you're not eating another one. I don't really care much about the whites, but it would be nice to not eat most of those guys. Thanks. I'll get a treasure. I'll have this guy back. This present back. And this should be enough to carry the boot. No. Why though? Still? Fine. Purple carry it. I'm just like, I don't want to kind of do, do the purple carry stuff because it can take forever. But it seems decent enough, so I guess I'll let it pass. Okay. It's a gift. I would love to open it and see what's inside, but it's a treasure, apparently. Joy receptacle. Very fitting. It is a very joyous thing where you can just wake up on Christmas and just know, and then you can't wait while your present is inside. Well, mine was my Switch when it was Christmas, so I was very joyous. Okay, let's just wait on that present. Uh, to come back and then we're done. Alright. Me time now. I kind of progress. I kind of understand that one. <laughs> well, I guess you could see. Oh, I 
remember this floor. And it's gonna have someone that I'm gonna hate. Yeah, he's over there. Welcome to the bowl bear from the first game. He's back and he never sleeps. And plus, if there's a little small bowl, spotty bowl bears with him, they will follow him. I'm gonna freeze you real quick and murder your family. I think I'm gonna lose a picnic from this stuff. Okay? I don't know where the other ones are. Die. Oh, he killed him. Sweet. Thing about that guy, which I hate, I kind of shouldn't show it off because I, I always use a purple potion to kill that guy. That they regenerate health in this game. So if, you, if I killed him the normal way by using a red potion or anything, it will kill him, but he'll recover health very slowly. So keep that in mind when you kill those guys without using a purple potion. I use a purple potion when I fight them because they're very hard in this game, especially when they can able to wake up if you don't folk if you don't give them back to put them into the pod. So I guess it's kind of the one way you can like you can't really avoid that cutscene. The purple stuck behind the whatever. Do I generate it? Cause I want to see if there's a potion in that egg or anything else. I have the ball base here. Oh. Oh, just give him like two. Perfect. <laughs> Let's just like add two more to that cause. Goodness. Well, I guess in this form, I'm gonna cast some purple with mostly yellows with this one, so. Which I don't mind. I gotta be careful. Oh, there's also a Bobman! Oh, okay. I forgot about that though. Uh. Destroy generator. Destroy the generator. Not pick up the. Ball bear, come over here. Bobman! Over here, you stupid thing. Get over here. Turn around. Thank you. Murder your face. And call him. The confused Bulber has fallen fallen with the Pikmin. They appear to be coexist peacefully. Strange. This Bulbman has a leaf sprouting from the top of its spine. Much like a leaf on a Pikmin's head. Yep, and this, for some reason, apparently there is a ch that Pikmin actually, if Pikmin get eaten by a Bulborb, somehow their spirit is infused with the Bulber, and then you get, and then that, and then a Bulbman happened. It was, that was, I don't remember actually say that in his text about it, but like we see, they've actually come out of here before, I don't know if we're going to beat this, complete this dungeon before the end of the episode, because this dungeon again is very, is long. You will, I'll show it off, but you see what he actually says about it, but I'm pretty sure that's what I, that's basically what he's going to say when I say a while ago. The thing about the ball bear, ball burn, is that they are immune to all elements in this game. So that's the very, very good thing about them. But there's actually one side thing that's bad about them. Okay, but we won't really show it until we reach the end of the dungeon. So yeah, that's kind of the bad thing about it. Good thing about them that they are immune to everything. You know, but the thing is, like, you have to have less 100 Pikmin on you if you want to have a good chunk of them. I think the max that the, the mother will carry is like 10 with you. We're gonna get more and more, more about those when I go to the dungeon I wanted to do in the the perfecting pool. So I can't wait to do that. Ugh. But now you see that like, now they actually give you a geyser, which actually makes you leave if you want to leave the dungeon earlier for some reason. But I don't need to, so I'm fine. Um, I think there's a third one. I think. Oh, this is actually- oh, there's a- I actually forgot there's a white thing there. I guess I could put the Bowman in there. No, actually, I'm not gonna put the Bowman in there. Fleeting art form. Yeah, why would I put a- actually, why would I put the Bowman in there? He's meets all the stats. All the elements. I'm gonna put... Uh... I want the blues. I'll put some yellows in there, because I would nice to have some more whites at least. I don't need a truckload of whites, but it'd be handy to at least have some chunk of them. Let me just... Yeah, there's one more, I thought so. I didn't... I, I didn't read the candle, didn't I? I completely ignored the candle. <laughs> uh... Gosh, I know it's going to do it again at some point. God damn it. 
I'll keep track of them, and then when we when I go to the, when I go to read the treasure the treasure hoard we have so much so far, I'm gonna just go back and read those. I'm very sorry to keep doing that. I think I'm just completely ignored reading over it. Uh, I think that's oh I forgot uh, there's no treasure. Are they all near each other? Jeez, another buried treasure. Where? Oh, it's right there. Come on. There you go. Everybody help. And it's a ring! I really actually should be worried because I forgot I didn't take down one of the electric generators and I don't know where this guy's going. But I think he's not gonna go where the electric generator is. I completely forgot this was a thing and they will be stupid. If the thing generators there and they walk that direction, they will be stupid enough to. Don't scare me like that! He went slightly to the right, so I thought it was gonna go, go that direction. I'm like, are you serious, Pikmin? Please. Don't kill yourselves. That would be nice. Gem Star Husband. Okay, I guess. Um, That is it. Okay. Continuing on. You can look at a truckload of treasures down here, too, because they give you like three or two each on each floor. Gosh, I forgot how plentiful it was in here. So, but before. More electricity hazards. And this guy. I kind of forgot its name. No! Oh my god, what was it doing over there? Well, this guy is actually like a relative of the swooping... Ouch. He got thrown. The swooping stitch bug. He actually takes captain the captains instead. Throws them down and does massive damage. Cause I'm stupid. I need to take it on that generator. Before any other Pikmin decide to be stupid and go after it. What the heck? God, these guys are gonna make this a bit annoying. Die please. Thank you. I don't know why that white was stupid enough to go over there. I did not throw it that far. Okay, they're finding that bug. I don't really care. I'll get them get those later. Good thing I got a good chunk of these yellows. Come on. They are just, they're basically to just pick up the captains and then they'll throw them on the ground again. So... And you can tell they actually did a lot of damage. Oh, good damn it. Oh, there you go. God, their, their name is escaping me, but that's what they basically do. And then when you get cap you're the captain, they automatically disband the Pikmin, so make them leave the uh, which basically leaves them defenseless. Um I really should not leave them disband, because they will follow those annoy beetles, and I really should kick care of those annoyed beetles, because they're coming into very uncomfortable close to my Pikmin. So yellows do your work. I'll help. To kill this stupid thing. Gosh, they are all over this place. Ah! <sighs> Is this? Yeah, 15. I'm just gonna make this guy freaking. I don't need to kill. Screw you! Freaking traps, how do they work? Well, I like traps. I don't know why I just answered my own question. Uh, anything else? It's just that. I hate you. Please stop. Can I please get past. Oh my gosh! I hate you. Stop it! Oh my goodness, I just want to pass! Goodness! I hate these annoying beetles. Well, you see, I'm crushingly low on HP. That is not good. It's kind of my fault. I should just kill the annoying beetles before passing, but. I'm impatient sometimes, so I'm stupid also. At least I'm losing Pikmin, but losing a captain is more hurtful, so I'm gonna be more I need to be more cautious. Alright. Oh, why'd you get oh this oh there's a sweeping stitch bug here though. Of course there is. Stop it! Please get that. And destroy the generator. Now you Oh my gosh. Why do you have to combine it with these guys? I swear they're so annoying. Ugh. 
I got my mama back. I really don't want to deal with these stupid snitch bugs again, which took like, like, it took like five or six minutes just to deal with all oh, Mr. Spear. Stop it! Give me back my Pikmin, please. Thank you. Oh my god. I hate you with all my freaking being. Die! Don't shrug them off, die! Take it in spades. This is your chance to get away from this. Oh my gosh. Please. Yes, take kidnapping. Are you serious? Stupid snitch bugs, get down to earth so I can body you. Thank you. Yikes. Why do you have to be the time masters in this freaking game? And that's all the treasure, so I guess I could just leave. But I don't want him to freaking bury somebody else. Anybody's buried yet? No one's okay, no one's buried, I can just leave. Alright. Because the thing is that the pigmen are buried when I'm going through an exit, it's gonna tell me if I want if you are you sure you want to leave if your pigmen are kinda of in trouble or stuck or whatever. They say it's gonna be in trouble. They're not gonna be in trouble, just gonna be left behind, so that's why I don't wanna do that. And sub level five. Which is a Univana Univanifal. So you can tell, they give you all the petals, and plus they give you enemies. I think the even of Samantha is in here. I hope I'm wrong though. Now we got Cattle Crystal Dweevils. They are the water Dweevils basically. So let's just beat them with. Look at them. There you go. Quick and easy. Um, how much do I have left in onion? I guess I could put some reds in it, but I really have hardly any reds. Uh, I guess I'll put some whites in here, and yellows in here. I mean, I say I got one more purples. That's what I really need. Oh, oops, I don't want to throw it in that. <laughs> I almost pressed the A button to do that. I, like, I don't want to do that. I'm just hoping I'm making terrible mistakes with this. If I'm pretty sure I don't need, I'm not really need white for anything. There's a white, there's a dungeon, there's a boss in the other dungeon I want to beat, but I need yellows for that. But I'm pretty sure I need, I'm not fine. With, I mean, this dungeon, I don't remember the boss in this dungeon, but I'm pretty sure I don't need height to beat that one, so. Well, I, because I said height now, you can kind of have a little tell what the boss is going to be that's based on the yellow pigmen. Um, so now we got unlit, unlit, unlit spectulids? I know it's spectulids, but I don't know what spectulids it's called. Um, let me go back up because I'm not going to anything. And we get pigmen that are the optional boss in pigment 1. We got Mermudios. And unlit spectulids. There are purple and red ones. The purple ones, the yellow ones give you nectar, the chance to give you nectar. The... There's actually red ones that give you a purple potion, the purple ones give you a purple potion when they die, but they have a chance of doing it. The Mermudas just like a Pikmin 1, they are, they plant Pikmin in the ground, and get stuck. Um, no, Olimar, stop it! They throw Pikmin in the ground and instantly flower them, so I think that's not fun. Ugh! There we go. Oh. Stop it! I'm not near it! Ugh. And we get a treasure that actually doesn't need a boss to get to actually get access to. Processing. How strange. An atypical metal object came inside of a bizarre that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal metal hand. Perhaps it's an ancient work of art. Well, let's give it to the let's give it a ship to analyze it more. Well, we'll just get a near muta blocking it. I'm just gonna defeat this one beta because he's gonna be a bit of a knife. Because, like, he can grow a Pikmin, which is very handy, but he's very big of a pain. He's a very huge pain. So, let me just get these potions real quick. That's a very interesting place to get a potion. <laughs> no, you know what? These guys are actually leaves, so pound them in the ground for me, please. Come on. I guess I should just disband and make them just deal with it. Root Knuckles. 
Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. <laughs> I just had to. This, ob this object seems to be a replica of a humanoid fist. A glove that much much like the one Lay's once in my junk hold. And here, and here is a very glove. I have found the missing rocket fist in my junk hold. Press A, press tap A three times to to, to launch it. One, two, punch! And now with that, we can do Captain. We can do the Falcon Punch. I mean, we can. Ouch! 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 Now we actually can do more. Our fist actually does more damage. And he's picking up a Donald Spectre lid. Okay. I'm just gonna do what he does. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna say anything about that. I just don't make my Pikmin attack it, and that'll be fine. I just need to kill this stupid thing. There you go. Now the annoying thing is I have to pluck all these guys before I continue on. Jeez. I am actually very low on HP and that's not very good. There's actually a boss that I need high HP, f at least good enough HP for and I'm really hoping it's not in this dungeon. If it is, I'm going to be screwed. Well, I guess if I do it quick enough, I'll be screwed. I'll just pluck all these guys. Wait, where's the Bulbman? I didn't see the Bulbman since I came out here. Bulbman? Um, wait, did I get everybody? I can't even tell. This guy is over it. Let me just move him. There you go. Is that everybody? Yeah, that's everybody. Alright. Um, wait. There's an egg over here. Let me see what's inside this before I go. Ooh, red potion. I'll gladly take that. It was the boss I'm hoping I won't see. I'm hoping I won't see. I sh do need that. <laughs> um, pretty sure that's it. Yeah, let's leave. Adios, amigos. Man, let me see. Okay, yeah, it's just that fist. Okay. Just don't want to go past this dungeon and miss a treasure. I really have a feeling I might miss it. I'm gonna call that little one bulb man we have is Bulby, because I think that's actually his name of his Bulby. I think that's one of the name of Olimar's pets. I think he I heard that he gave Olimar bring back a Bulbman as a pet from the planet. I don't know when or how he did it, but he did it. So Oh great, Mark Lav Cannon Lavers. Basically means I wanna fight. Don't do it. We can find that freaking thing over there. Let's destroy this thing real quick and then I'll deal with those cannon livers. And they're over water, so I can't use my purple to annihilate them right now. You know what? Actually, no, I'll leave you behind. Oh, more Bulbman. Well, got an easy way to deal with you. Okay, cannon. Thank you. Oh, wait, did he just kill him? No, he did. Okay, thank God. Uh, Over. I don't want to, I really don't want to get take, taken down, so let me just... There you go. I'm going to destroy this real quick. Or not, I think he's going to destroy the wall. Wait, what? Why is that boulder still living? Well, I can see this now, I actually press A. He does a mega punch. Um... So it actually makes it pretty easy to defeat enemies on your own. But just at least but just basically it's gonna take a lot of time to defeat enemies that have a lot of health. So that's kinda of the unknown bit the annoying thing about this. Get over. Come on. This is a bit of a time waster, but I don't wanna carry my blue Pikmin with me and try to chance of losing them from stupid stuff, so. This guy is literally you know what? No, never mind. I'll get my blue Pikmin to take it on the other part of his health, because that's just gonna take way too long. And it's getting nearing 30 minutes anyway, so I want to do as good to this floor as quick as possible. Hopefully the next floor is going to be the... Uh-oh. I really don't have to shoot. Don't shoot. Uh. Oh, don't! Oof. Okay. That's kind of the bad thing. I didn't want to do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shizzle! 
Is it done yet? Please, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's more. Um, is there bumples on the way out? No. Oh, shoot. Pikmin. Why is there a bulb? There's a freaking dumple. Up here. Leave. Oh, my God. Why is there a freaking dumple here? No, I don't want to leave. Oh, shoot. Wake up. Carry that. Why are you still firing? I hoping that's everything. Oh, there's one in the water. Of course there is. Uh, well, we have an option for you. These are all the chess pieces, so I guess I gotta get the other one back. Of course I have to. Come over here. I just want to allow me if I if it's a boss. I'm thinking I don't want Alamo to take too much damage. The boulder stuck again. Hit the dumple. Things like I would be aware because I think this boulder is gonna hurt a lot. So that's why I'm kind of don't want to get hit by this boulder. I'm be very careful. I don't want to get hit by this boulder. Oh boy. Now it's starting to get a bit stressful because I don't want him to take too much damage. Because Louis's gonna die if he takes one good solid hit. Bryce's statue. Why is the boulder stuck? Hit him, please. Oh my gosh. It's not. He's not dead yet. He's gonna hit a wall, you know. Don't shoot again. Oh my gosh. Aim this way, you stupid thing. Thank you. Let me murder you in your sleep. Oh, that's the wrong direction. We try. Come on, get the boulder up here. Get up here. No! Ah! Why don't you listen? There we go. Fine, I'm just gonna do it the freaking punching way. I'll just keep him punching you. It's funny how like, he actually has a nice kind of punching move like this. He's also a captain. <laughs> funny. Uh, now can I get this? No problems. No notes ever. Please. Oh, it's already past 30 minutes. Jeez. Yeah, I need to get going. I'm be wasting too much time on this floor. I'm trying to not have too much long episodes again, but it's going to be very hard if I want to do certain things. Yeah, I'm kind of sucking at that things right now. Uh, anything in here? Absolutely not. All right. Leaving. Pretty sure it's, yeah, it's clean here. Just look at all these bodies. <laughs> Goodness. Have you ever seen so much dying bodies in this, in this place? Goodness. We're destroying the wildlife here. It's not even funny. Ugh. Um, where's the exit? Oh, yeah, up here. Well, I think I lost like three Pikmin in total in this dungeon so far. Ugh. That is not good at all. Come on. Any time now. It should be there. Um. Pikmin? Thank you. <laughs> it's not that far. Jeez. Worthless statue. Interesting. <laughs> what makes the difference? Why is one worthless? Why is one priceless? I don't know. Anyway, let's just delve deeper. And I think this is going to be the final floor, I'm hoping. So we just did a boss next episode. I'm pretty sure, I don't remember any more of this dungeon. No, we are not done. All right. Yeah, this dungeon's long. <laughs> oh, and I think I remember this one. I'm not going to like it. So next time, we are going to continue more of the 14, 14 Cavern. So I'll see you guys then. Later.